hi everybody it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and I'm back with another tutorial um, this is the second time I had a filament because I messed up with something but this is just a prototype I made um, and it's a really cool little box it'll open up at either side and it'll have little windows in it'll close with magnets and a handle and I saw this, um, I saw a couple of these boxes from two different people on uh, Pinterest. The first one I saw, I'll put the link in the description, it's just a handwritten tutorial. And then the other one, handwritten again, but it's not in English. Um, so yeah, we're going to make this, which it's a really, really nice box. So I'm going to do it all pink. Um, my favourite colours. So I've got a piece of this just patterned paper um, which measures 12 by 8, 12 by 8 inches. All right. So we're going to store it on the long side at 4 inches and eight inches all right then turn it to the short side and you want to score at one and a quarter inches and then turn it round and score the other side at one and a quarter inches all right see so i'll just end up with like three panels All right, now what you want to do is take a pencil and a ruler and you've got four rectangles in the corner. What you want to do is measure in <clears throat> two and three quarters of an inch on the score line and you want to just mark it. And you want to do the same with all four of the rectangles measure in at two and three quarters and just put a little pencil mark and then do the same on the other ones two and three quarters oh, it's wrong to do it this way two and three quarters Right, so you should have four little pencil marks and then all you want to do is just take your ruler and just draw a line so that you end up you'll end up with four little boxes well kind of boxes little squares All right, so you'll end up with them. And then what you want to do is turn it. What do we do now? Let's know we don't. We're going to. What we're going to do is cut up these little pencil lines that we've drawn in. Okay. And then all we're going to do is kind of cut like a, so we're cutting the square out like that and then we just want to mite it in just so we're sort of creating a little tab, yeah? So do the same <clears throat> on all of the four sides, cut up the pencil line. And cut up the score line. So you've got your little square, and then just cut away 
a little bit you know, like creating that okay do the same on this side Right, so you should now end up with that. Turn it to the short side and then what you want to do is from the score line, the score line here, you want to mark, you want to put your ruler there and then you want to mark it at two inches. So come in from the score line to two inches. And then do the same on the opposite side. <clears throat> Come in from the score line at two inches. Do the same on the opposite end. And then you want to draw a line <clears throat> from there to where we've got that first little snip the little gap there. So draw a line from there to the pencil mark. All right. Okay, so you should now end up with that. And then again, Okay, so that's what you should have and basically we just need to cut these away now. Okay. <clears throat> Now I'm just making sure I actually cut the pencil line away and then it saves us having to rub it out. And that is the base of our little um, box done. All right. So we're just going to stick this together. Well, we're going to fold and burnish it first. And the good thing is if you use a double sided paper or patterned paper, it will be nice and pretty inside as well. Okay, and then what's going to happen is we're going to put glue or tape on these four little tabs and we're just going to stick it round like that. So I'm just going to quickly look for any little pencil marks. There's one there, just rub that one out. Another one there. All right, so get some glue. And there we have our gorgeous little base of our little bag, basket, sorry, or whatever we're going to call it. I haven't thought of a name yet. Now, what we need to do is take a piece of card or whatever. I'm using the same paper because it is quite thick, but you can use card. And we need, it needs to measure... Um, one and a half by eight inches. Yep, and um, we need to score it on 
the long side at two inches and six inches. All right. And then while we're here, we've got a piece which is going to be like the closure for our little bag. So it needs to measure four inches by 12. All right. And we need to score it on the long side at half an inch, one and three quarters, five and one quarter, six and three quarters, ten and one quarter, oops, ten and a quarter and 11 and a half and then at least we know that we've got that scored okay right so basically this little piece that we've just scored here is what our kind of closure is going to attach to so it's going to get glued into there and then obviously across over to this one okay so we need some adhesive on the sides now take this piece here and we're actually going to cut our little windows out of this bit now show you how it's going to go first and I've added a little extra piece on here so it's going to sit like this okay and what I've done with these little extra pieces here which are going to fold over like this and I thought that is so we could hide a little magnet underneath there okay because it's going to close with a magnet so I thought that might be a good idea to just put a little magnet on okay so obviously the two larger pieces here is what we need to cut our windows out of so I'm just going to quickly grab the big shot um, and I will be back in a second okay I'm back what I've done is I've just took a circle die and I've cut one side out already okay and then we're going to put the other side because it's going to have two like a, it's going to have a window in either side of the box so I'm just going to pop that on just get it where I think the center is I mean you could use any shape square, heart, whatever you like right so you should now have what looks like that and then you can keep them for tags or something and what I did was using a scallop circle and a layer and size down with a normal circle I cut out some pink um, if I can get a hold of it some pink glitter so I cut it out of this first then I used the smaller one to cut out the center which just left us with a little scallop border so I've done that twice because we need two for our two windows again you can keep them for tags and then acetate for the windows I've just cut two out of this um, stamping up polka dot acetate I had so we're going to start and get this together I think it's going to look really pretty actually because this paper is absolutely beautiful that's just 
my style kind of pink and florally. So we'll do our little windows. So this is going to go just around the windows. So I think I'll just glue this on first. A few challenge entries for you on Sunday and also a couple of swaps that I've, that I've done, well received anyway, so I'll share them with you. Right, this is silver one side, gold the other. I want the silver and all I did was I just got an even bigger circle and I just cut the acetate out with that and then I know it's nice and neat on the inside. Okay, so I'm just going to put just a little bit of glue around the little cut out, make sure the acetate's the right way and I'm just going to press this down. Oh, oh doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous? Now, magnets. I've got some of the tiny little magnets. I've got the these on my Amazon storefront as well if you want to order any of the magnets that I use. So, because I've got, I've got a couple of sizes on there. So what I'm going to do is the magnet is going to go, is going to get hidden under here. So I'm just going to Get a little glue dot and then I'm just going to stick the magnet just down like that and then I can work out later on where the other side will need to go. Just roughly in the middle. Okay. And then I'm just going to put just a little bit of this tape on. But I'm not going to put it over where the magnet would go because I think sometimes it interferes and it's sticking. And then just press that over so it should stick at either side and it just covers it over, makes it look nice and tidy and thickens the closure up as well and basically all we need to do now is we need to put adhesive on here and we're going to glue this on oh wow isn't that absolutely gorgeous that is beautiful so adhesive on here Again, tape or glue, whatever you prefer, decide which side you're having the paper or your best side or whatever I suppose and it will just literally glue on top of there. That is just beautiful. What an absolutely gorgeous looking box that is. Okay, so that's that on, and then we need our magnet. Let's let that stick for a little bit. We need our need another magnet. And I'm going to stick this magnet on the inside if it will work that is. Dropped it inside the blooming box now. So if I pop that in there, hopefully Yeah, and you can see that's just grabbed in there straight away. So 
so I need another glue dot. It's just all nice and neat and tidy inside as well as out and it snaps shut absolutely gorgeous I love this box and then the handle I've got a piece of the same paper which is 10 by 1 inch and then a layering piece of the um, the patterned paper which is nine and seven eighths by seven eighths all right and that is just going to get stuck onto there okay so we've got our matching little handle all right that's going to be our gorgeous handle i'm just going to give it a bit of shape Right, and it's just going to obviously get stuck on like this. So I'm just going to use some glue. Let's make sure that's stuck. Oh, look at that! Isn't that just out of this world that is absolutely gorgeous and then I have got some little gems that I wanted to put on I'm gonna put just one there and just one on the other side right just makes it look even prettier and then I've got some of this gorgeous gold ribbon and I'm just going to tie a beautiful bow around the side of the handle how gorgeous is that and then you could put little treats in anything you want but that would make it a, a mother's day gift something like that that would be absolutely perfect for mother's day so all the info will be on my blog and um, i hope you like it i hope you'll give it a try it's beautiful i love it so yeah thanks for watching take care and bye for now